Hi everybody, it's Janet Ficchini here with drawing and sketching class. Um, we're going to do a little coloring. Um, if you're just joining us for the first time, you can be using whatever you have at home. If you have crayons, if you have pencils, uh, pastels, felt pens, anything you have is fine. Um, and if you're watching, if you could please hit the like button or type that you're watching or a wave or something like that, just so I know you're out there watching. It's a, it's a little different not having live people here with me teaching. Um, the correspondence is <laughs> zero. Oh, well, when you guys uh, respond to me, it's not. But um, in, in here in my art studio, there's no one here. So except me keeping very big social distance. I just put my arms out real wide. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I hope you brought your cookies and milk. I forgot to mention that last uh, time. Um, I did. I brought homemade oatmeal, chocolate chip cookies, and my milk. We'll take a break. We'll take a break in a little while and we'll have a bite of our cookie and a drink of our milk or whatever snack you have. I'm sure adults may, may have something else than that. Um, so today uh, I have prepared, oh, I see a lot of people are watching. Yay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Um, today we are going to do what you probably saw when I grabbed my cookie and milk. We're going to do this sketch of owls. Yes, so we have an owl up high and two owls up low sitting on branches and a moon. And it looks busy, but it's really easy. Everyone's gonna be able to do this one, children and adults alike. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and we're gonna start. Let me pin that over here. Okay, so I'm gonna start, oh, and excuse the, excuse the smudges. I'm running out of paper out of drawing paper and uh, I went on Amazon to order some but they have a long time till they're gonna get it to me so I can't go to the craft stores craft stores are closed so I may have to switch to smaller paper but that's okay like I say I might even use a paper plate or a piece of wood myself just like I've told everyone else it's okay all right so let's start off by just going down about a third of the page oh yeah, about a third of the page and start we're gonna draw a branch so branches are kind of squiggly and wiggly so that's nice you don't have to draw any perfectly straight lines and they go kind of up and down so I'm drawing my branch kind of squiggly and wiggly and making it go down well if I'm going this direction I guess I'm going up a little bit okay you can even draw a little offshoot to your branch if you want to wider at the bottom. They're always wider at the bottom where they connect to the other branches. Okay, and then we're going to draw another branch down towards the lower part of the paper. And I'm going to start mine right about here. And I'm going to end up down in this corner. So it's kind of wiggly woggly down to the corner somewhere. Okay, and I'm just gonna follow that line again. Bigger, smaller. We'll make this bump kind of big, like there's a knot right there. Bigger. It's just kind of fun to make it your own. And that's what we're gonna do today. You're gonna make this your own piece of art. So however it comes out, it's gonna be great. Okay, now, and, and I would really, really want you all to share when you're done with yours. Even if you take time to color it in later on after we're done here in this segment right now, and then you color it in a little bit, that's fine. Um, but do share it on my Facebook page because everybody will be able to see it there and it's really fun that way for everyone, especially me. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the owl who's up here. Very easy, owls, 
are one of the easiest things to draw, okay? So what we're gonna do is kind of a horseshoe. Oh, I should have grabbed a horseshoe to show you. Do I have a horseshoe in here? Um, no, it's too high up on the wall for me to get. Okay, I'm just gonna draw it, okay? We're not gonna go all the way to the line. We're gonna leave a little space in between. So I'm gonna draw a big horseshoe. And a horseshoe, they kind of kind of comes together closer together at the top. Oh, I drew mine a little bit crooked there, but that's okay. He's gonna be a crooked owl, that's all. All right, and he's not too big. I wanted to make him bigger, so that's okay. We have a way to fix that. So now I'm just gonna draw a little line from here to here. Oh no, my pen is, looks like it's losing some ink. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him some big wings to make them, since I didn't make them as big as I wanted to. See, we can call, we can improvise. This is what we call improvise. I'm just gonna add a wing here, add a wing here. Now he's bigger, isn't he? Right. And now we're gonna put in some little feet. So we're just gonna draw a loop and a loop and a loop. That's one foot. We'll do it again, a loop and a loop, and a loop, kind of like flower petals, okay? Now we're gonna put in his eyes, and those are gonna be big, big eyes, because owls have very big eyes. <laughs> All right, and this owl, he's gonna be looking down at these owls. So we're gonna make his eyeballs, well, his pupils, I guess you could say if owls have pupils, we're gonna make them down low so they look like he's looking down, okay? All right, we are good with that owl. Oh, wait a minute, no we're not. We have to put in his beak or his mouth. So we put in an upside down triangle. See how easy that is? Upside down triangle. Small or big, it's up to you, he's your owl, okay? All right. Now we're gonna move down below and we're gonna do the same thing here for the mama owl. So we're just gonna draw a horseshoe. Okay, then we're gonna connect the, the top of the horseshoe. We're gonna go down and then up, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we're gonna give this mama well, I'm gonna say she's a mama owl because we're gonna make her a lady, a lady owl. We're gonna give her puffy wing, puffy wings, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a small loop, a big loop, and a small loop. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. A small loop, a big loop, and a small loop, okay? Now we're gonna give that mama owl feet. So one toe, two toes, three toes. And again, one toe, two toes, three toes. Okay, now we're gonna give the mama owl eyes. So again, big round eyes. Okay, as long as they fit inside your horseshoe, they're good. Okay, now we're gonna have the mama owl look up at this owl, saying, hey, what are you doing up there? So we're gonna do the pupils looking up, okay? And then the upside down triangle. Upside down triangle, circle, circles. Pretty easy so far, right? And it is all easy. Okay, now we're gonna put a little baby owl next to the mama owl. So again, but this one's gonna be a small horseshoe. Oh, this is really small. <laughs> I might even put in two. I'm gonna put in two, because I did it so small. You could put in two, you could put in three, you could put in four, you could put in one, you could put in none. It's your drawing. You could do whatever makes you happy, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. 
we're going to connect the top of it on that side to this side. Same here. Just connect it with a little line. However, even though they're baby owls, they still have big eyes. So big round eyes. Big round eyes. I'm taking a peek at who's watching. Oh my goodness, we've got so many people watching. Hello in Malta. Wow, all the way from Malta. Hello in Clayton. Hello in, mm, let's see, Manteca. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna put in circles for this owl's eyes. And then I'm gonna put in little, little baby circles, one on this side and one on this side. Because guess what? These two are gonna be looking at each other. Wherever you want your owl to look is where you put in the small circles, which I keep saying the pupils. Not sure if they're pupils on owls. And yes, they have a little beak. So we're gonna put in a little triangle little upside down triangle okay and we're gonna put in the little feet and it's okay if they're not right on the branch like this guy he's a little bit high I drew him a little bit high off the branch so again our little loops one two three they're like tiptoeing on the branch <laughs> And let's give them little baby owl wings. So these are gonna be, I'm gonna do these a little different. You could put them on the outside of the body if you'd like to, but I'm gonna put these little baby owls wings on the inside, just like that. You wanna see that again? It's just a little loop from up here, close to the eye, just a little loop, okay? Facing in, that's all. Look at that, we've got owls, okay. One more thing that I like to put in to this drawing, since owls like to come out at night, hmm, what could that be? What'd you say? Oh, that's right, the moon. Let's put the moon in. We draw a circle up in this corner right here, and there's our moon, okay? Now, if you're using crayons already or markers, you can start coloring in along with what I'm gonna show you here. So I, again, have pastels. Pastels are like crayons. You know, I don't have any crayons. And again, I looked at ordering some and it's gonna take a long time to get them, but I will. So I'm gonna use my pastels in the meantime. So I'm just gonna start by coloring in this owl up here. I'm gonna use brown. You can use whatever color you would like. I'm just coloring in his body. I'm gonna color in quickly just because I don't wanna keep everybody on too long. Like I said, you can um, color in after we finish. There's no rush because you're there at home or yeah, you're probably at home. I was gonna say, or wherever you are, but we're all supposed to be at home, right? And that's where we are. So I'm coloring in the sky. I'm not gonna color it in perfectly because it's pastel, so I'm gonna go over it with a paintbrush and it will smooth it out. Getting my glasses on. Oh, much better. Okay, so I colored in his main body. And while I have the brown, I'm gonna go ahead and color in some of this tree trunk or tree branch. Let's just get this guy oh, 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 all colored in. You could go outside the lines, it's fine with me. Doesn't bother me one bit when I go outside the lines. Everything is okay in art. There are no mistakes. If you're using paint, if 
you have paint, you don't have a paintbrush, you can use your fingers. <laughs> I've done that. I've even looked in my kitchen drawer and found things to use out of my kitchen drawer, like my basting brush. <laughs> Art doesn't mind what you use. It's just picking up the paint and putting it on the paper or the canvas or whatever it is you're using to paint or whatever you're painting, wood. I buy a lot of my things at the dollar store. Don't even need a paint palette. You could use an empty egg carton. They have the plastic egg cartons. Those work great to put paint in them. And yes, the paint that you use on your house or your dad or mom uses to paint the house is acrylic paint. You can use that as well. Okay, the branches are colored in. He's colored in. Now I'm going to pick another color. I'm going with this beautiful blue. It's like turquoise. I love this color. Okay, I'm going to color his wings in this color. Again, you could use whatever color you'd like. And again, I'm just going to go real fast, but you don't have to keep up with me. You go at your own pace. I hope I'm not in the way. Okie dokie. I wonder what everybody did this weekend. I actually sat on the couch most of the day yesterday and watched Netflix. Hadn't done that in a long time. Okay, now the mama owl, you know what? I'm gonna switch. For those who are using felt pen, I'm gonna use a felt pen, okay? Just to show you that it's a-okay using felt pens as well. Ooh, this pastel is kind of messy. Yeah. Towel. Okay. I rest my hand on it. It kind of smudges it. So I'm coloring. Mama Owl. Now, if you were with me last week, you remember me saying color in the direction of your shape. So she's round. So I'm going to try and. Color in round. And little circles is what I'm doing here. Try not to go over it too much so it doesn't get bump, wobbly. Paper gets kind of wavy when it gets wet. Okay. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in her. In little circles again. Fill in her owl wings with the same blue. Uh oh. Went outside that line. That's okay. Did it again here. That's okay. Sometimes feathers aren't nice and neat, sometimes they get kind of messy. Okay, there we go. And now, little birdies. Little, or the little owls. I'm gonna color those in blue. The wings. And also on these little, well, man, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. I don't give away too much too fast. Okay, now let's, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna demonstrate how pastel, wet your brush, pat it, how pastels work. If you take some water, look at that, it becomes nice and smooth. So nice and smooth. A little different than crayons this way, but they are more messy than crayons is the, is the thing.
but it smooths out all that the marks. So that's my demonstration of pastels. Maybe I'll smooth out the branch a little bit. What? Need a little more water. When you feel your brush pulling and you're working really hard, you know you need more water. It's the same with paint. I'm going to smooth out this branch quickly. There we go. Voila. A little messy up here. Let's give it a little. Just so you could see what I'm talking about outside the line. It's okay. It could be some bark peeling off. Okay. What's next? What's next? How about we color in the eyes? I'm going to color in his eyes with this. It's called slate gray. You could color them in any color you like. Black, brown, blue, green. The mama bird, I think I'm gonna give her blue eyes, a different shade of blue. Maybe this color blue. Like, well, we'll call him the daddy bird, like the daddy bird's wings. Okay, and then the little babies, oh, their eyes, I colored them in black, but I'm gonna, uh, you can't see it. So I'm gonna get a lighter blue. And if you're using crayon, it should work the same way. You put it on top of the black and it'll show. Okay, there we go. <laughs> they look cute, the little ones. Now we're going to give everybody some color in their eyes. So I think I'm going to give the mother some, a little bit of green. So I'm just going to give her just very lightly. I'm adding some green color, just very lightly, little lines. And I'm barely pressing on the paper. Barely, barely. Okay. And the little owls, I think I'll stick with this light blue. Just very little, tiny little bits of strokes in there just to add a little touch of color. Very lightly. Okay. And the daddy owl. See, I have this golden brown color. I'm going to give him golden brown eyes. Very light. It's like our eyes. When we look in the mirror, we have like little bits of lines in there. Oh, I see Kevin and Mary are watching. Look at that. Lots of people. Oh, my goodness. Hello, everybody. <laughs> There we go. Look at that, everybody has some color on their eyes. Now, how about we give the mother some eyelashes? She's a girl. Let's put some eyelashes right from her eyes and out. I'm gonna give her some big eyelashes. <laughs> kind of cute and silly. Big, pretty eyelashes. No mistaking, this is a girl, huh? All us girls love our eyelashes. I'm put in little ones here. Okay, there we go. And now we can put in some more decorating. How about we put in some feathers on the daddy? And those are easy. See, they're little loops little tiny letter u or a little horseshoe little tiny ones all the way across in a row and we're going to do that again just all the way across now those of you adults that are joining and if you're using paint 
Feel free to get as creative and decorative as you like. And please, again, share when you're done, no matter what you think of your work. We all want to see each other's work. It's great encouragement for all of us. There, look at that. He's got feathers. Let's fill in a little baby's bodies. I'm going to fill in little baby owls with yellow, this bright yellow color. This is my, my color choice. Okay. Just because they're babies. And the colors yellow and blue. My mom, she had a lot of little baby blankets in those colors. She had four girls. <laughs> so my parents had four girls and I saw a lot of yellow and blue, not much pink. <laughs> so that reminds me of babies. Okay. Now, um, oh, we need to fill in their beaks. Where is that one color that I like so much? I call it school bus yellow. It's a little bit more orange, but this is a nice color that I like to use for birds' beaks. I believe we used that Friday on the rooster's beak. Not sure if we used it in the dragonflies. I think so. Okay, so there we go. And, oh, the feet. Everybody's feet. I'm going to fill those in with... Mm, it's gonna go brown maybe maybe this color here it's a little bit different than that brown it's kind of a reddish brown it's called rush <laughs> I wonder how they come up with the names of things how things are named different names street names there's so many street names when I go walking, I see so many different names, and I think, how did they come up with that name? Must be naming it after a place or a person or a thing. Okay. There we go. Owl's toes are all filled in, and they have nice feet. Yep. Okay. What is next? Well, let's decorate the mama bird and the baby birds and the daddy. Let's finish. I'm going to finish the daddy. I'm going to do now. You can do all kinds of designs that you like. You can do, you can do polka dots. You can do X's. You can do zigzags, waves. You can do all kinds of designs. Whatever you can think of and you want on your owl, you go ahead and do that. On the daddy owl, I'm going to do just some waves on his wings in white. There we go. And on the mama, I'm going to use orange. And the reason I'm choosing orange is, if you remember, I put this color wheel up here during one of our other art sessions. And I just so you could see that it's just a helpful little guide on the color wheel. The colors that are directly across are complementing colors. So what complements blue? Blue, orange. Now, this color wheel is really old. I had it since I was in high school. So the colors are completely faded. I apologize for that. I'll leave that up there for a minute while I'm decorating the mama bird. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a little feathers just like the papa bird <laughs> this reminds me of a and w hamburgers mama burger papa burger baby burger that was a burger place that was around a long time ago too boy i'm aging myself i should stop talking okay keep drawing feathers <laughs> okay and on her wings i think i'm gonna give her polka dots Make her a really fancy schnancy little mama. There we go. Polka dots. And I'm speeding up again just so I don't keep you on here long and not too long anyway.
Okay, there's mom and bird. Now baby birds, you know, I think I'm gonna give them a little in their blue wings. I'm just gonna put a couple of dots in there. Just a couple. They're so little. They're so little tiny birds. Okay, and then on the yellow, what do we have across from yellow? We have violet. So, oh, look, it even says violet, violet. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them little, I'm gonna just do like little dots. They're so little that if I try to do the feathers, I don't think they're gonna show. So I'm gonna do little specks across their bellies. There we go, see? And it looks like little feathers, just like on our rooster's neck on Friday, we gave him little feathers by drawing little specks. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. Okay, so little baby owls. I'm going to use a colored pencil now. Little baby owls, they have like fuzz at the top of their head. Well, actually, the adult ones do too. You could give it to the adult ones too. So I'm going to take my colored pencil and just do some scribbles like we did on the bunny on Monday. And kind of actually make it straight across because that's how owls have their their do they like to wear it straight across kind of like a mohawk i need to sharpen my pencil a little bit and you know this is a good time for your cookies and milk break what do you think does everybody want to take a break have a little have a little cookies and milk with me mm. Mm. i'm gonna have a bite of my cookie you could keep drawing if you want to and coloring Mmm. Yummy. Okay. My son and his girlfriend made those last night. That was a nice treat. Okay. So, now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and give some fuzz to the dad. And the mom. I think it would be kind of fun. Give them some. I'm using the slate gray. <laughs> it looks a little more serious now. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Okay. How about the mama? What color hair are we going to give her? How about, hmm, how about this reddish orange? I'll give her some. Mama's, mama's pert. Oops, excuse me. I'm sorry if I'm in front of the camera. Mama's pretty. With all her pretty colored hair. Feathers. Yeah, these are a little different than your realistic feathers. Okay, now... I'm going to take down this color wheel because we have to get to our moon. So let's color in our moon yellow. Well, I'm going to color in my moon yellow. And I'm going in circles since the moon is round. I got a, I got a wiggly easel here making some noise. Fill that in. There we go. All right. And now, because owls come out at night, I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to, well, I broke my big piece of chalk and I made it a small piece of chalk. And I'm going to just lay it on the side and gently press and fill in the background. Now you could do the same thing with a crayon. You could peel the paper off and you can lay it sideways and you can gently rub it on your paper to fill in your background. Now if you do what I just did, you got a little chalk on there, it's okay, it'll come off, see? Chalk is very forgiving. So 
so we're just going to go around the owl, kind of fill in, doesn't have to be perfectly perfect, just kind of fill in some big spaces, and get some background in there. Oops, whoops, I dropped it. Okay, there we go. light pressure so it's not too dark and not too light in some places going around the mama's big eyelashes and her wings and little baby owls what do you think they eat little baby mice i guess so huh And fill in the bottom. There we go. Look at that. Oh, one more thing we can do is when you look up at the moon at night, I think what I always see is like a glow around the moon. So let's add some color around the moon little bit some rings spread out wider and wider as you go farther apart like that it's kind of glowing isn't that pretty and if you'd like you can add some stars in your sky twinkle twinkle little stars what else is out at night sometimes a bat you could draw a little bat let's see can we put a bat in there somewhere Bats are, let's see, their, their wings are a little, a little tiny one because this is in the background. A little tiny one, let's see, it's kind of a, a whoop and a whoop, okay? And then the body, and then again a whoop and a whoop. I'm going to make the body a little bigger than the wings. And they also have pointy little ears. And then the bottom of it is the same, whoop and a whoop. A whoop and a whoop. Bottom of the wing. There you have a little bat. He's a little messy because of my pastel is so big and uh, it's kind of hard to draw little things with such a big drawing tool. Ah, oh, there we go. All done. <laughs> Give yourselves a hand if you're done. If you're not, you keep working on it. And oh, one more thing, one more thing. Guess what we have to do? Yep, that's right. I heard you, we need to sign it. So you could sign your picture anywhere that you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and sign mine right here. I just feel like signing it right here and that's just fine. Okay, there we go. It's all done. So thank you for joining me and I'll be here on Wednesday at one o'clock same thing, same time, same place, Groovy Paintbrush Art Studio, my art studio. And uh, please, again, post your pictures on my Facebook page so we can all have fun seeing what everybody's done and everyone's ideas and creativity. In the meantime, have a great day, have a great tomorrow, and I will see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.